compost coming from the chickens going onto the potatoes underneath the pumpkins as they co-mingle together. <laughs> going to show you now is just such a Justin Rhodes thing that we'd be silly not to show it to you. So this is the old chicken coop that we did deep bedding in and so Jim is taking compost out of it right now and putting it into Hank. This is Hank. Hank was our first farming tool that we ever bought. It's, he's several years old and we couldn't live without him. Anyway, he's putting that in there, and then um, he's bringing it over to the garden, and I will show you what we're doing with it. Hi, turkeys. It's been super hot today, so you know, homesteaders, you don't look glamorous all the time. Very seldom, anyway. So. I'm going to show you part of a video that I made when this garden was just a baby and I spent hours making, planting five pumpkin plants. I didn't accomplish much, but I at least got the pumpkin planted. Five hills. I'm starting to cover it now. And uh, this isn't for wimps. <laughs> Jim usually does the hard part. When I went in and said, boy, using a pick is really tough. And he goes, I know. <laughs> so I'm going to um, just finish the last part of this and then cover it. Uh, it's supposed to start raining soon, and so at least we will have gotten five pumpkins in. Okay, so I can say, wow, I did all that work. Pumpkins planted, or I can go. Whoa! Look at what I did today. I got five pumpkins planted that won't die now. <laughs> Woo! I choose the second one. This is now those five pumpkin plants. Five, and there are pumpkins growing everywhere. So this contest. I think mine are miniature pumpkins though, but maybe I can get win the contest for growing the most pumpkins. But I want to show you something. Um, this is our potato patch. And we were growing our potatoes over to the side and gonna let the pumpkins grow a little bit on them. Well, not so. The pumpkins are infiltrating them. So we've got pumpkins and potatoes. Not sure if they'll be symbiotic or if the pumpkins are going to completely smother out the potatoes. But that is what homesteading's all about. You've got to try. So here we have compost coming from the chickens going onto the potatoes underneath the pumpkins as they co-mingle together. So this is an experiment. And remember, if you remember, these potatoes are on top of hay and mulch. They're not under the ground. And so you can see that we're piling way, way, way up high. 
But what I wanted to show you over here is oh one. man, are we there? Yeah, we're there. Okay. All right. So yesterday, just as I was saying, let me show you this. The camera died. I didn't know that until today. So we're gonna finish this video right now. So we put all the compost on the potatoes and I was going to show you all of the pumpkins. So let me see if we can find some of the pumpkins that are actually growing. Look right here. here you can look down here. here. One, two, three, four, five, six, Anyway, there's a whole lot of pumpkins in here. I, pay, I went down to, to, oh my goodness. The turkeys have just come up the hill. They're so funny. Turkeys are the coolest things. Anyway, um, just to finish this one, <laughs> I reached down to cover one of the potatoes and there was a cluster with five pumpkins growing. So I really do think there are hundreds of, of pumpkins growing in this area. Pretty good. Okay, Whistle Thicket Farmstead. Say that three times fast. We don't know whether we're too late to enter your pumpkin contest, but we're growing pumpkins. So we are going to grow weird pumpkins perhaps because ours probably will not be the largest but we have enough that we might be the most, although that's not a category. But we'll take one of those most and see how weird we can make it. So we accept the challenge. We are in. And if we're too late, then we'll just grow them and share it anyway. Thanks.